Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name's Tom and I had several requests to get Python by example um, going again so uh, that's what we're going to do here. I came up with a game called Street Craps. Uh, well I didn't come up with a game. There's an actual game that people play on the streets called Street Craps. Alright so we're going to build a game where someone rolls two dice and depending on the outcome you either win money or lose money. Quick dis disclaimer though Gambling is illegal. This is just an educational video. Do not really use this to gamble. All right, so let's get started. First things first, I'm going to create a file or directory that contains my Python by example um, uh, files. So we're going to do uh, mkdir and we'll do Python underscore by example. All right, I might have done this in a previous video. But I no longer have that directory, so just bear with me. We're going to cd into Python by example. All right, and then we're going to um, create a virtual environment, virtual EMV, and we'll call this street underscore craps, just like that. And once that's done, we'll cd into that one. Let's go. There we go, and CD street craps, and then let's go ahead and activate it. So if you list it out, and we'll see source bin activate, we'll activate our virtual environment. All right. Anytime I'm writing like a program, I want to make sure I'm in a virtual environment um, based on version control and different packages I may or may not need to install. For this program so anyway let's go ahead and open up our text editors I'm gonna open that file so I'm gonna to go to my desktop and Python by example and street craps right here all right so let's go ahead and create a file we're gonna call it main.py so we'll do main.py just like that and the first thing we need to do um, is basically figure out how we're going to roll dice. All right, so in the game, in Street Craps, there's two dice, so the shooter rolls two dice. So we need a way to roll two dice and get a number between one and six returned to us for each die. All right, so we're going to use the um, random package from Python. So from random, like this, import uh, random int or rand int. Because it's going to be an integer, not a float. So we're going to use ran int. All right, next thing we're going to do is um, create a function. We're going to call this uh, dice, whoops, dice underscore roll. And we're passing no parameters on this one. All right, um, we're going to have dice one is equal to ran int. I mean, that's going to be one. So we want the lowest number to be 1 and the highest number to be 6. And the same with dice underscore 2. So rand int 1 times 6. And we're just going to go ahead and return dice 1 comma dice 2. All right. Um, now we're going to roll our dice, but we're going to create a variable to represent that. So roll. Uh, is equal to dice underscore roll. All right, so we're just calling this function, and what it's going to do is return two random integers for dice one and dice two. All right. Now, <clears throat> for testing purposes, I want to go ahead and print out roll. All right, so that's going to give me what each dice does. So dice one, what was that roll, and dice two, what was that roll? All right. And then we're going to also want to know what the sum, the total, because part of the game is like if you roll sevens. Or something like that, you're gonna win money, so um, we need to know the total of the two die added together. So let's do print sum and then roll. All right, now I'm gonna go into my text or into my terminal. I'm gonna run python uh, main.py, and you can see we rolled a one, our dice one rolled one, and dice two rolled two, and it returned three. All right, a total of three. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and advance on this um, on this program. So uh, make sure you check out the next video. See you then.